Hello, I'm Milford's Mayor Ben Blake. I'm here with our Health and Human Services Director Deepa Joseph. Uh, the CDC has updated their guidance on booster shots for our COVID vaccines, and it's a little bit complicated, but to provide some details and some background, Deepa. Thank you, Mayor Blake. Um, so booster shots, there's a little bit of a distinction um, between third doses of COVID vaccine and booster shots. So for third doses, those are people who after their first two doses of Pfizer or Moderna, maybe didn't get their full immunity um, because they have some severe immunocompromising conditions. Those individuals are eligible for, eligible for a third dose 28 days after their second dose of Pfizer or Moderna. And then last week, the CDC approved booster doses for a larger group of the population specific to Pfizer vaccine. So if you were vaccinated with Pfizer for your first two doses, six months after that second dose, if you fit into one of the following categories, you would be eligible for a booster dose as long as you're six months out. And that would be people who are 65 years of age or older, people who are 50 and older, but have underlying medical conditions, and then long-term care residents. In addition to that, what the CDC has included is that people who are 18 years of age to 49 years of age, who have an underlying condition, can also be eligible for the booster dose. So they may get a booster dose if they choose to, based on their individual risk benefit profile. Individuals who may be at increased risk of COVID transmission or infection due to an occupational exposure may also be eligible and they just need to weigh their individual risks and benefits, um, but they would be also eligible if they're six months out from their Pfizer vaccine. So stay healthy Milford and be safe.